I have to thank all the DIYers that motivated us and encouraged us to make the simplest and easiest yard drain system to assemble and to install. In doing so, we made contractors' jobs easier. Our yard drain kit snaps together, slip fit, no tools required. Don't need any screwdrivers, no screws, no saws all. Literally just slips together. You've encouraged us to make the easiest yard drain kit. Your comments told us what we needed to work on. Your comments told us what you were having difficulty with. So I want to thank you, all of our subscribers. I appreciate each and every one of you and all the comments, both good and bad. Enjoy the video. Thank you. All right, we did a demonstration to show you guys how this works. Super easy, no tools required, yard drain. This is not a French drain. We got a line level. All right, so we have a line level. We pulled it tight. It's nice and level. You can see it's really nice and level. You got your bubble in between the two lines. This represents a flat yard, no slope. That orange line represents your turf. So what we did is we came up with a system to where you can add slope. You can get this water out of your yard. No tools required. Everything's a slip fit, super easy. We have this first catch basin, very shallow dig. It's only 11 inches deep. That's it. You have an end cap, you put the end cap on. We got some pre-drilled holes that you just push the pins in. Just an end cap, that's how you start out the line. We have more inlet with our six inch basin. This grate has more inlet than any other six inch grate on the market. It's slightly domed so leaves can't lay flat on it. We have couplers that slip on the end. We go ahead, we push some push pins in, lock it tight. This is for corrugated pipe. The next catch basin in the line, you put a riser on. This riser is an inch and a half riser. You put a riser on, the, the flange that's on the riser, when you backfill this with dirt, it holds this flange down in place. So when you go to clean your inline sediment trap and you pull this lid off, you go ahead and take the grate off, this doesn't come with it. It's held in place. No glue, no screws, no tools. Sediment trap holds one gallon of sediment. Clean it out periodically so you don't get sediment in your lines. This is for demonstration purposes only so we don't have all the push pins in because we're gonna break it down as soon as I'm done with this video. You can see we have two risers on this basin. We have three risers on this basin. So we are creating slope. We have the lawn right here. This is the grass level and it's flat, no slope. We're building our system with slope so we can move a lot of water. We have nine inline catch basins here. Of course, if this was a dirt trench, we'd have something supporting our pipe. You can see you get deeper and deeper and you just keep adding a riser. You don't have to figure out slope. Super easy. Don't need a calculator. Don't need any formula. Just keep adding a riser. When you get to your last basin, here we are. We're at our last basin. We're 20 inches deep. This is perfect because we're going to use a 30 inch sump pump system. We're going to use our micro bad seed that's 30 inches tall. We shipped this in a box. The guys went ahead and for the discharge used a piece of eight slot. You can just buy a 15 foot piece of eight slot. We ship it in a box. You can buy a micro bad seed. We ship it in a box. All the water gets taken in to our outdoor sump pump system. The frost can't lift this out because the dirt holds it down, or the stone in this case. You're gonna dig out the dirt, you're gonna go 30 inches deep, you're gonna backfill this with stone, it's gonna be permeable so the water can run right through it. Don't use pea stone, don't use fine stone because you don't want your pump sucking up stone chips. Use inch and a half round rock if you can around this sump pump system, minimum, use one inch rock and try to go for something that's not crushed that doesn't have fines. You just have that perforated pipe that has holes 360 degrees on the top, on the bottom, and on the sides, goes all the way around the unit. 
We just put a Y in there and that's it. There's no connection. There's only one tool needed. We ship the nut driver you need for this band. Then we also sell 50 foot schedule 40 flex line. So you can slip it in here, tighten this up and then run it out to where you want to discharge it. This is the easiest yard drain on the market. No tools, no glue required. Now we do recommend that you tape all of these couplers. That way you're not leaking right here. You want this to build up pressure so you have a good flow. It's not a must, but if you tape these with some good tile tape, just some added reassurance. It's not gonna come apart. It's gonna hold really well, but you just don't want dirt to end up in your line. So if you tape this up, that won't happen. Beautiful job. Guys did a really nice job. This is nine inline catch basins taking in a bunch of surface water. This is not a French drain. People are gonna say, how are you gonna take in all of the water? You're gonna have perforated pipe, you have a solid pipe. This is for surface water only, for standing water in your yard. This is for a yard drain. This is not a French drain. So we use this four inch wide tile tape for our corrugated pipe connections. This is what we recommend. No glue is required, super easy to work with, super sticky, super stretchy. It's tacky even in below zero. Doesn't matter if it gets wet, it works wet or dry. This is what we recommend for our yard drains when you're using corrugated pipe. If you found any of this information helpful, give us a thumbs up, it supports the channel. If you have any questions regarding French drains, leave them in the comments section. I'm your host, Robert Sherwood, and until the next video.